football, and uh, and they have no thought to what's really going on in politics. Uh, and so, uh, my thoughts about the whole thing with Iran was that uh, I think that we're going to have martial law here in America first, because I don't think Bush has, he knows he doesn't have the support uh, for a draft for us to go to Iran. Because uh, he would need a draft. He's just wasting our soldiers away in Iraq, uh, killing them off one by one. They're not dying for their country. They're being killed off one by one uh, to get them out of the way. And you don't, you know, that's one of the things that, that doesn't make any sense. Is he's going to need more and more troops to do, to sustain more and more wars. Why put them all in Iraq just to have them all killed? Because the number one thing about this whole thing back when it started was that they wanted to get the troops out of America. They wanted to get our fighting age men and women out so that martial law could be implemented here so that the Chinese and the Russians and the Germans can come and overtake America here. And there's nobody here to defend the people that are here. All of our fighting age men and women are over in, in foreign wars and half dead because they wanted to kill off America's uh, military. That was part of their strategy for the New World Order. Uh, and they know Americans... Uh, would never fire on fellow Americans, so they're going to bring in these soul scalp soldiers, these super soldiers, half human, half alien soldiers, uh, to do the job for them. Uh, and with our troop, troop numbers dwindling, they don't, they never tell you the real death total. They tell you 10% of the actual number. Uh, so if they're telling you 400 have been killed, and that's most likely 40,000, they only tell you 10%, folks. Um, if even uh, 40, it won't be 4, but 4,000, but I've heard 10%, I've heard 1%, so you fig you know, you figure out how many trees we have over there compared to how many we don't now, you know. And they're going to want more for Iran. I think that the, what's going to happen is that uh, we're going to have a bombing here in our, on our American cities. I believe it will be out west somewhere. Uh, I know a lot of people looking for a south attack, maybe a a nuking in uh, Texas. I know at one time they had this plan where they were, with the Russians they were going to call it an accidental nuking. Putin was going to accidentally fire four missiles on America. So four of our cities were going to be obliterated uh, and they were just going to be, oh sorry we pressed the wrong button. It was an accident. You know, it was accidental nuking. Uh, that they already have, you know, it's in planning stages already because I wouldn't have found it in the codes if it hadn't have been. Uh, and in four of these cities, it was uh, Lexington, ten Kentucky, Charleston, South Carolina, uh, Houston, and Dallas. And there was, uh, I know some people saying uh, San Francisco was involved in that as well, though I couldn't find that in the codes. Uh, but I've seen uh, Dallas and Houston and Charleston and Lexington uh, as part of the strategy uh, to where the Russians were actually going to nuke these cities. And what they were going to do, uh, use this as a pretense to in implement martial law here in America. Well, I think they're still going to stay with the same kind of uh, uh, thing, but I don't think they're going to... Um, Putin has kind of distanced himself from this New World Order thing. And so I don't think they're going to use him as an ally now to bomb four of our cities, even though he probably gladly would, <laughs> whether he wanted them to or not. I think what's... Uh, I wouldn't be surprised, put it that way, because we did so much work out west last month uh, in with the Oregon, tearing down their strongholds down there, uh, that no sooner uh, than we got home uh, when the fires started out west. And so thousands and thousands and thousands of acres burned to, to produce dead Oregon energy uh, because we had just pounded the pounded it out there with positive orgone energy, and they're trying to combat the positive orgone energy out there. Uh, and so I think what's going to happen now is that they can't keep the fire thing going. You know, they're going to burn the entire West Coast. Uh, I think that that we're going to see a nuking out there. I think that that's that's what they're going to use uh, to start martial law here. And when we're all focused on this martial law thing. Uh, is when then he'll decide, once he's got a, con uh, a handle on the people being in fear, because what he'll do is he'll blame it on Iran. He'll say, oh, Iran bombed San Francisco. Iran bombed L.A. Iran bombed uh, 
Salt Lake City. You know, and so, uh, I think he'll blame it on Iran, whatever he does. Uh, and so, maybe even Chicago. Because uh, I remember years ago watching Chicago sink right into the water there at Lake Michigan. Uh, and I'm not sure what took it down. So, I thought the time might be an earthquake. Uh, could be anything. Uh, and so, we'll throw Chicago in there as a possible city that they might nuke and take down and blame on Iran. Uh, but that's what they want to do, and they want to have the people here in America in fear, uh, and so worried about soldiers here, and what's going on here, that they're not paying attention to what we're doing in the Middle East, which is going to war with Iran, using all of the fear and, and, and destruction here as a basis to get into Iran. I think that's probably what they're, what they're, how they're going to lean. And I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm just giving you my thoughts on this. Uh... Because I think that there will be martial law here first before war with Iran. Uh, Bush doesn't want to leave office in 2008. You know, he wants to stay in. And the way he can stay in, the only way he can stay in is uh, to be in war, in a time of war. Uh, he can uh, cancel elections. If we're in a time of war, if this country is in a war, he can cancel elections and stay in office. And so that's exactly what I think he wants to do. Uh, I don't think he wants to leave office. Uh, there's nothing saying he can't, as far as prophecy goes, uh, because he would fit in perfectly uh, in the end times, uh, as long as, as same as Hillary Clinton does, same as any of the other beasts do. Um, because, folks, right now, these people aren't even people. They're gone. They're gone. The, these people in our government and these high positions that are leading this country were soul sculpted ages, you know, months and months ago. I don't even believe they're fully human. I, I believe they're soul sculpted aliens that are they're hosting and possessing these people, and that whoever they once were has long been gone. <laughs> and I think that once the net is removed, there's this uh, net of invisibility so that you can't see into the spiritual realm, uh, and you say you can't see. Uh, aliens and demonic beings that might be here on earth but invisible so you can't see them because they're in the fourth dimension and we're in the third uh, when that when that in, net of invisibility is destroyed and it's no longer there you're going to be able to see these beings on earth with your own two eyes there's no more they're going to be on earth and they're, they're not going to be able to hide anymore they're not invisible anymore you're going to be able to see them for exactly who and what they are uh, and it's almost depicted like in that movie years ago called They Live. Uh, you might want to see it again because oh, there's truth to that. Uh, I think when this net of invisibility is, is destroyed, gone, uh, then you're going to be able to see all of these politicians like I've been talking about, uh, their actual alien form instead of the, the human form that we see them on in TV. You're just going to see them as the aliens that they are. Uh, and this being depicted in that movie they live on, you know, a couple of years ago, back in the 70s, I think that movie came out. Uh, and it showed uh, these you know, television news anchors and reporters and stuff sitting on TV. And, and they're sitting there as humans one minute, and boom, the net disappears, it's destroyed. And the next minute, you just see a bunch of aliens sitting there talking, reading the news. <laughs> I think that's how it's going to be. <laughs> You know, because uh, a lot of these, these humans that we think are humans are just not even humans. They're just aliens and humans.